Are you trying to figure out how you want your stream layout to look? Well, let's get into how I designed mine. Hello everyone, my name is S Comic Maker, and today we're going to be making a new overlay because this one's old and I'm old and it needs to go. Hmm. But how do I want to make my overlay? Do I want it to be the same? Do I want to show some of my recent work on stream? Do I want to have the music I'm listening to displayed? The possibilities are endless. So you might be asking yourself the same kind of questions when it comes to what kind of overlay you want. So if you want to make your own overlay or you're commissioning someone else to make it for you, I would recommend making a list of things that are important for you in your stream. So while I'm working on my overlay in the background, I'll talk about how I came to the final conclusion for mine. It's important to ask yourself a couple of questions. Am I a new streamer with a small following or do I have lots of people following me? Am I playing games or making art? Do I have people supporting my channel? And do I have social media that I want to share with everyone? The list goes on and on, but I want to talk about some of each of these here. So first, your following. Depending on your following size and how active your viewers are, you might want to consider a chat box. Now this seems pretty basic for all streams, but I actually don't have one in mind and I'll talk about why in a second. I went through tons of variations of my overlay where I had a chat box at one point and then I didn't have one, but luckily I usually stream with my husband who reads the chat as best he can for me. This makes it easier for me to respond to questions that he can pull out and read to me in the sea of highs and hellos that I usually get. But I've seen people stream with a friend, whether they have it together on Discord or having a friend at home with them or somebody else in their family at home with them who reads the chat because I wish I could respond to everyone, but realistically I can't. But I chose to take the chat off of my screen since I have someone with me, but most streamers tend to have the chat running. You can also use things like speechchat.com or other kind of speech bots that can help read the chat for you so you can focus on gaming or drawing or whatever you're working on. But of course, there's also no shame in reading the chat yourself. Next is the kind of stream that you are doing. Is it a gaming stream or crafting or drawing, etc.? Depending on what you're doing will depend on what size box you're sharing. You might want your stream to have a box that's a little smaller to make room for information about you or a bigger chat box, or if you have a webcam, you might want a little bit more space to show your face in there. Since I don't show my face in my streams, I want to focus on my art. So I had my streaming content box take up a large percentage of my screen. So think about these kind of things when you're figuring out your layout as well. Then you have support. I am very thankful for the support of my patrons, so I want to make sure that I honor them in my streams by displaying their names. In the past, I had their names next to my music scroller but I eventually decided that since the music I was using was from one of those pay to use music sites that I wanted to show my patrons more instead. So I got rid of the music scroller, made my patron box a little bit bigger, and moved the social media from above my head to below my stream. This gives me more room for my character and gives me a little bit more space to share some of the fan art I have received from you guys. Every stream I try to update it to showcase the stuff that you guys make, but it was really important to me to make sure I show my patrons and make sure I show my fan art so I definitely wanted to allocate some space on my stream for that. But now that I've moved my social media to the bottom, let's talk about that too. When I first started, I thought I needed to make myself as widespread as possible to make sure I could reach as many people as I could. Plus, not everyone has Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr, etc. So I wanted to make sure that if people sent in fan art or wanted to see my work somewhere, that I had multiple options available. But you quickly realize <laughs> that you are one person and you can only do so much. So eventually I started taking icons out of my streams and links out of my descriptions to social media that I don't use anymore like Facebook or Amino and Tumblr. Clearing it out really helped clean up my layout and give me a few things to focus on as opposed to spreading myself out way too much. But the best advice I can give you is simply to look at other streamers. 
If you see something you like, make sure you write it down or sketch it out, incorporate some of the things that you saw that they had, and then make sure that you add the stuff that is important to you for your stream in there as well. There are also so many different tools that you can use for streaming and lots and lots of free stuff out there that can help make your streams the very best that they can be. So while I'm only talking about the layout here today, make sure that you give yourself a good Google search because there's lots of good stuff out there. Now let's finish it all up by putting it all together and figuring out what I did for my layout. I wanted to start keeping my stuff in a specific color scheme for this overlay, so I actually used some of the stuff that I made for my banner and my outro of my videos. The background consists of things I like, like Pokemon, video games, drawing materials, etc. So I used that as my base and set up my border. If you want to hear a little bit more about how I set up that background, you can click on the i card here where I talk about how I made my banner. But anyway, as I mentioned previously, I went through and added my patrons and social media as well as an area to showcase the artwork that you guys have sent me. I use Streamlabs for streaming and so I cleaned out all of the old settings that I don't use anymore, added my new artwork, and adjusted the colors of my patron scroller and subscriber goal to match the color scheme of my stream. It might be a bit too much of the same colors, like I even changed the Patreon logo colors to match, but I figured it would focus your attention on what I'm streaming. In fact, here's a little bit of what it ended up looking like during one of my streams this week. I also decided this time around to add some other me's in there besides just the ones of me drawing. I made one of me waving hello and goodbye for when I start streams and end streams, one for when I'm playing video games, and one for drawing. Although in the future I do plan to make other ones for when I'm doing things like taking a break, eating some food, or or when my husband jumps in and draws. In the end, my streams have gone through many changes, but I like how this one turned out a lot. I'm excited to decorate it for special streams or holidays in the future, which I've done for my Valentine's Day ship streams or for birthday streams. Streams are super customizable, so make sure you have fun with it. I'm currently working on some other stream related stuff like special art for donations and making exclusive membership and stream emotes, so look forward to seeing those things coming soon. Streaming has been really fun and it's been such a wonderful way to get to know some of you guys, especially now that there are so many new people jumping into my streams. I plan on doing more request streams in the future and maybe even some critique streams, but let me know if there are any really cool stream ideas that you guys have in the future that we can do in the comments down below. I am always down to have fun and draw along with you guys. But this comic maker, I have the best idea of them all. Why don't we have a banana stream and everyone send in like a special portrait of them as a banana? Like a banana sona or a banana sona or a banana. Um, that is an idea, banana man. Or like you could paint me like one of your anime girls. Uh-huh. Or you could draw a comic about me as like a superhero. Mm-hmm. Or you could, you just want an excuse for me to draw you, right? Um, yeah. Well, that's very interesting, Banana Man. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Well, I, I thought they were some great ideas. It ain't easy being yellow, you know. If it weren't for me, this channel wouldn't exist in that way. Would you be, huh? You know, it's, it's our story, okay? Anyway, that's it for me this week, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you in deciding what to do about the layout of your stream. I used Clip Studio Paint to create all the art for my streams and put it together on Streamlabs by watching a lot of tutorials. But if you have any questions, I'll work on updating an FAQ in the description of this video so you can also ask questions in the comments if you want. As always, videos like this are possible because of my amazing patrons and people like you who like, comment on, and share my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys! Psst! Hey guys! Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I like dedicated people like you. I still think my Banasona Banana Banana Persona thing is a good idea, so to heck with her! 
If you would like to make a banana persona based on you or one of your original characters, submit it to this email, scomicsubmissions at gmail.com. Don't worry about her finding out. Who the heck do you think checks those emails for her? If you do submit something, please title it Pernana dash username, and it must be a banana. Don't tell her, but I'm totally gonna hijack her stuff and find a way to show off all of your amazing artwork in a future video. You have until August 1st, one week from now, to send me your Pernana. See you guys in the next one.